Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. There has been tremendous development on the XRP ledger since the introduction of NFTs, and I'm going to walk you through it all. Even though XRP's price has recently dropped, its chief technology officer, Simon McLaughlin, has voiced his steadfast support for the cryptocurrency. Finally, as the Ripple litigation has shown, the Bitcoin market needs more precise restrictions. It is expected that the SEC will be compelled to implement stricter regulations for the industry regardless of the outcome of this litigation. But what if the unthinkable actually happened? Is the SEC's appeal being heard and decided upon? So, read on to find out the rest of the story. Please view this brand new video at your earliest convenience. If you find this to be of potential interest, the XRP Ledger's prominent NFT marketplace, XRP Cafe, has published crucial information on NFTs on XRPL. According to XRP Cafe, the new XRPL changes that strengthen NFT IDs are expected to pass in less than 24 hours. This is due to the fact that the UL vote has been over the 8% threshold for nearly two weeks, meeting the stipulated criterion. The NFT market scan of the XRP Ledger which includes XRP NFTS, publishes a screenshot of the upcoming updates for the core explorer of the XRP ledger. In addition, they can facilitate transfers without the use of smart contracts. Native tokens, or issued currencies, are expected to offer features like royalties and anti-spam restrictions to help users remain compliant while avoiding undesirable tokens when they are released in October 2022 via XL a set of 20 standardized NFTs. Automatic royalties for MFPs on the XRP ledger are enforced at the chain protocol level, according to Takashi Yoshikawa, director of Ripple. This protects creators from the whims of individual marketplace tokens. Since NFTs were integrated into the XRP ledger in October 2022, incredible progress has been made in terms of issuer writing security. According to Missouri's analysis of the data from his former RPL's second quarter report, the number of NFT transactions processed each day jumped from 13,800 to 15,500. 12.7 percentage points in CoQ. Almost every NFT transaction type hit ACU, and Nifty's market share jumped from 30% to 50%. As of the conclusion of the second quarter, 1.6 million NFTs according to the XLS20 specification had been manufactured. Another positive development is that last month, Ducati, a motorbike company based in Bologna, Italy, launched its first online digital collectibles using the XRP ledger. In an interesting turn of events, Ripple CEO Simon McLaughlin also stressed the importance of full disclosure and financial security, reiterating the company's unwavering commitment to the XRP community. McLaughlin recently stated in an interview that Uphold has received significant investments from regular cryptocurrency investors, with an emphasis on XRP transactions. In spite of widespread assumptions that the opposite would be true, the platform has actually experienced a substantial influx of funds. This was a gamble that paid off over the past two years, and McLaughlin credits the steadfast support of the XRP community for making it possible. The company's recent triumphs, according to the CEO, may be attributed in large part to the company's open culture. Uphold's 30-second reserve status updates, he said, make it the best in its field. This is what the most recent data from Uphold's website shows. With $1.9 billion in liabilities and $1.9 billion in reserves, it's clear that the platform's transparency in real time is a major selling point. The collateralization rate of the platform's assets is an impressive 102.9%. Notably, Uphold has XRP assets valued over $1.2 billion, with commitments totaling the same amount. The data reveals that XRP transactions contribute significantly, accounting for roughly 28.41% of the platform's total revenue. The platform stands out as a credible contender in the dynamic field of digital banking because to its novel approach, which has garnered significant attention. Supporting XRP, with its bold claims and innovative transparency measures, represents a promising approach for the cryptocurrency industry and its sometimes unclear terrain. 
If you want to be the first to know about any XRP related updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. The big question of the day is what will happen to XRP if the SEC is successful in its appeal. A recent court decision ruling that Ripple Labs XRP token, which is traded openly on cryptocurrency exchanges, is not a security has stoked investor interest in the cryptocurrency market. The ruling provides some cause for optimism that the cryptocurrency regulatory landscape will soon gain clarity. This fight for transparent crypto rules is far from over, but Ripple and the cryptocurrency community have won this round. The XSRP token was recently determined by Judge Elisa Torres and her associates in the Southern District of New York to not be a security when sold to the general public. However, she did note that XRP can be considered a security if it was previously sold to institutional clients. It was seen as a win by both Ripple Labs and the cryptocurrency community, providing them more leverage in the ongoing push for regulatory clarity. But Ripple's chief legal officer Stu Alterity is sounding the alarm that they haven't yet won the war. The SEC voiced its displeasure with the court's ruling, arguing in documents related to a separate case against Terraform Labs that the decision was erroneous and that the court should not support it. The organization also said it was considering other pathways for potential evaluation. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, requested leave to appeal a section of the verdict on August 9, noting that the outcome of the appeal could affect several other pending cases. The fact that there is currently a division within the district shows that there is much room for debate on these two legal problems. However, Alternative Reality believes that the judge made the correct decision because of the law. The judge, he said, was correct in his ruling. We found that recent episode of TechCrunch's Chain Reaction podcast to be a virtuous application of the law. He hoped that other judges would see the SEC's approach as wrong and be inspired by the judge's finding in the Ripple case, and I believe an appeals court will uphold or even accentuate that. But, he stressed, the best regulatory framework should be developed to protect the integrity of the markets, otherwise the United States could lose its pioneering position in blockchain technology and fall behind other countries in the cryptocurrency market. He went on to say that he didn't believe the United States would ever be able to completely realize the promise of this technology, but that without it, neither the cryptocurrency industry nor the technology underlying it nor the innovative entrepreneurs who are pushing it would exist. Further, it will keep heading out to sea. In the wake of high-profile failures in the cryptocurrency industry, such as FTX and BlockFi, US regulators have taken a more combative stance. In March, the cryptocurrency industry was hit hard by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission CFTC, and the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. claimed that Biden's and its chief executive officer CIO, knowingly offered illegal Bitcoin derivative instruments, similar to the settlement reached between the SEC and Coinbase and Nance. The world's two largest cryptocurrency exchanges recently settled with the SEC in exchange for the latter two ceasing to sell unregistered securities and the former paying a $30 million fine. In the meanwhile, crypto companies are not holding their operations up to see how these lawsuits turn out. Major cryptocurrency companies based in the United States are seriously considering relocating their headquarters to Bermuda or another country with a more robust economy. Since Coinbase has already established itself, it is possible that it may launch an international exchange. Additionally, Seattle-based cryptocurrency exchange Bitrex has ceased operations in the United States. Another major American exchange is considering relocating to the United Arab Emirates, Jimmy. According to a study conducted in April by Electric Capital, the share of US-based blockchain, Developers has been on the decline during the preceding five years. That's a drop from 2017's 40% to 2020's 29%. Suggests that US crypto enthusiasts are being discouraged by the country's murky regulatory environment. We need to know what will happen if the SEC's appeal is granted. The crypto industry has been given cause for optimism by the recent court ruling in favor of Ripple Labs, but the battle for more open crypto regulations continues. As the SEC's disagreement and potential appeal show, 
there are still challenges to overcome. The Commission's position and its contention that XRP is a security will be bolstered if the SEC's appeal is successful. In the event that this occurs, similar cryptocurrencies to XRP would be subject to stricter regulation and other undesirable consequences. However, if the SEC's appeal is unsuccessful and they lose the case against Ripple Labs, its authority and jurisdiction over the digital asset business will suffer severely. If the SEC suffers such a major setback, it may be time to re-evaluate its regulatory approach to the nascent crypto industry. Furthermore, if the SEC is unsuccessful, it may need to rethink its approach to cryptocurrency regulation. It could prompt the SEC to rethink the way it classifies tokens and lead to a more comprehensive and effective regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies in general or a new framework tailored to tokens in particular. Talking to lawmakers, buyers, sellers, and specialists in the field could all be part of this process. Regardless of the outcome of the case, it has highlighted the need for clearer guidelines in the cryptocurrency sector. Whether the rules themselves are updated or new judicial precedents are established. It is hoped that this action would prompt the SEC to provide more comprehensive regulations for the sector. David, a lawyer at Bracewell LP, says that the ruling shows how important it is to have clear regulations and consistent standards across all types of participants and transactions. Concerns regarding the legal and regulatory frameworks around the sale and acquisition of cryptocurrencies will persist in light of the difference. This video has now come to a close, gentlemen. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. See you later, bye.